Hi, welcome to Power Today. We're still on the Sermon of the Mount and we're thinking about in chapter 5 where Jesus says to his followers, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. Jesus doesn't say um, you are the salt, you are the light if you're well behaved or if you've got it all together or if you haven't stuffed up this week or if you know all the answers. Jesus just says to ordinary people like you and me who follow him, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. Salt is um, minuscule, isn't it? If you look here, it's just so tiny. And actually, it's in those tiny actions that we bring flavour. Salt in Jesus' day was actually very expensive, very valuable, and Roman soldiers were paid in salt. Um, and if you are a follower of Jesus, um, don't focus on all the things that you do wrong. Focus on the fact that Jesus says you are valuable. And he wants us to bring flavour to people that don't yet know him because they're also valuable to Jesus. Uh, salt should bring healing, should bring taste to those around them. This light is doing my head in what, by the way. It's that bright light. That, that, the, um, I'll put that salt in the bin there. There you go. Um, Jesus also says you are the light of the world. And you can't ignore the light when it's shining in your face and Jesus says that we should make a difference to those around us. Martin Luther King Jr um, said something along the lines of um, the way to overcome darkness is to light one candle I think something like that but, but you dispel the darkness straight away. In Japan they have something called Kirin, K-I-R-E-I. -E it means um, cleanliness and beautiful and if you've seen any sporting events do you remember the World Cup when the Japanese fans after they'd won an amazing game that they shouldn't have won they went around cleaning up the stadium because in Japanese culture they believe this that we should leave a place better than we found it. That really grabbed me when I read it and I thought actually for each of us in every interaction we have with another human being with another part of the created order we should leave it better than we found it. So this week when you're at work and your boss is getting right up your nose this week when you're at home and your family are doing your head in. This week when you're out with your mates and they're not including you as, they think, as you think they should. How can we leave those situations in a better place than we found them? Because if we're following Jesus, we are the salt of the earth. If we're following Jesus, we are the light of the world. Let's not be tasteless salt. Let's not be dim bulbs. Let's be salt. Let's be light. I'm getting a suntan here. This is great. Take care.